All right, everyone, I am looking forward to this conversation. Today, I have the opportunity and the privilege of speaking with Javi. Javi, how are you doing? Good, good, teacher Tiffany. What about you? I am doing well. Thank you so much for asking, Javi. All right, now, Javi, I am looking forward to you telling us more about you. I know you, but I yes. want you to share who you are. Okay. Let us know who Javi is. Well, Javi is <laughs> is a happy person. Mm -hmm. I am 63 years old. Mm -hmm. I am retired. Mm -hmm. and I used to work as an airline pilot. Mm -hmm. I flew for 35 years. Uh -huh. I am happily married. Oh. Uh, I've been married for 32 years. Wow. And I have a daughter I love. She's the lap of my eyes. Oh. And you know, she's 30. She's 30 years old, but she's still young for me, you know. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes, and I am very happy to be with you, teacher Tiffany. It's a oh. it's a pleasure to to see you. Uh, well, face to face. <laughs> <laughs> Virtually, right? Yeah. yeah virtually, but, but someday, someday. <laughs> yes. Now, Javi, I want you to tell us one more time. I heard you. How old are you, Javi? 63. I want to make sure everyone watching this and even those listening to this interview, Javi is 63. He looks like he's 50. He looks amazing oh, okay. if you're not watching it, but you probably can tell from the sound of his voice, he is a young man at heart. So Javi, I just wanted to emphasize that because you're awesome. You're continuing to work towards your dream at 63 and I'm very honored to be your teacher, Javi. Oh yes, I am turning 64 uh, on October 1st. It is oh, really? Soon, soon. <laughs> Yeah. Well, you know what? At the time of this recording, when it goes live, it'll be past October 1st. So I okay. would like to say a happy early birthday to you, Javi. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay, and Javi. I forgot to tell you that I am from Mexico. Mexico. I love it. I love it. I love and Mexico. I live in Cuernavaca. Mm. It's a small town near Mexico City. Uh-huh about 65 miles from Mexico City. Oh, I was okay. Born, I was born and raised in Mexico City, but I came to live here 20 years ago. Wow. And now as the place of the eternal spring. The place of the eternal spring. Wow. Yes. It sounds like a beautiful place. Yes, it is. It is. I love it. I love it. Yes. So Javi, you've shared that you are a happily married man. I love that. You have yes. a wonderful daughter. She's the apple of your eye, the light of your life. Yes. Javi, what's your hobby? I'm curious. Well, my hobby, what I'm, well, I don't have a special hobby. You mm. know, I am now serving the Lord because have you heard about Gideon's? Gideon, I know Gideon, the Bible character. Yeah, yeah. You know that, you know that, in some hotels, where in most hotels you can yes. find a Bible in the night table, well, yes. the Gideons are uh -huh. the persons who who distribute the, 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 all the Bibles. And yeah. I'm a Gideon now, and I am working. I I went yesterday to to a high school uh -huh. and gave, gave away fifteen hundred Bibles to the wow. School. Yeah, and every day, some days at night, you know, in the hospitals, sometimes uh, everywhere. And it is not a hobby. It is my life. <laughs> I love it. I love it. You're trying to bring that same joy to other people, right? Yes, yes. I love mm -hmm. it. I love it. You know, I'm a Christian as well. So yes, I, love I know, I know. Sharing with other I people. I didn't know when I joined, but, but now I know because you know something? When I saw you that you were talking that you were in Korea, yes, I don't know, but something told me she was a missionary. Wow, <laughs> really? You know that we know we know how the, how this works, and my my daughter has been a missionary too, and I know a Amazing. little bit. Amazing. 
Yeah. I love that. I love that. I love that. You have a giving spirit. I love that. Okay, so then let me yeah. ask you this because Javi, you don't look nervous. You look very happy. Oh. You look like you're ready to have this conversation. So I want to know, Javi, then when did you start studying English? Because you seem very comfortable. It's you are been a long journey, you know, it's been a long journey because, uh, well, you know that here in my country, mm -hmm. uh, English is mandatory in schools, mm -hmm. but you know that it is only a based English. It is not advanced, no? Mm -hmm. You can be learning English all your life here in the school. And it is going to be difficult to learn because it is only grammar, textbooks, you know, and then when I want to be to become a pilot yeah you know that as a pilot you need english and then i went to a study to to become a pilot in brownsville texas uh-huh uh-huh there was one problem everybody speaks spanish there <laughs> <laughs> and you know after school everything was in spanish i was living with a group of mexicans and it was uh, some kind of difficult. And then I returned to Mexico. It was 40 years ago, no? Right. But, but I returned to Mexico and I decided to join a, an English school. And I took uh, grammar classes, you know, the traditional English yes. schools. And I learned a lot, a lot. Yes. I, 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 I thought that my grammar was better in English than in Spanish. <laughs> But something something happens when I started working. The mm. first time that I was in San Francisco, I didn't understand anything. Yeah, <laughs> I yeah. I didn't understand a thing. I was, I, I was going to 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 get on on a bus to go somewhere, and I couldn't understand the driver because mm. I didn't know he he was talking so fast that you know. Yeah. Not English, regular English, the English that is, is spoken everywhere. And you yeah. don't that kind of English. And then I continued working, but my English was very technical. Mm -hmm. I know mm -hmm. technical English. I used to talk with air controllers, with mechanics, with all the people around the plane. But my, my company was a Mexican company. And when the door was open, all the, 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 the people that were working with the company were Mexicans or, or Spanish people, and they always talk with us in Spanish. And you know, and I don't have any problem to talk in a hotel, in a restaurant, or I don't have, but I didn't practice. My English yeah. was very technical in, in all, all my, 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 my normal work, my regular work, but you know that when you want to go deep, oh yes. my God, when a, a, a big wall, a big yes. wall is in front of me because I don't remember. I, I know that I know a lot of vocabulary, a lot of words, but sometimes they don't come out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you said this journey started for you 40 years ago when yeah. you came to Texas and then you were again trying to become a pilot. So you were able to use technical English, right? But again, yeah. getting on the bus, these situations were challenging. Fast forward to today, you don't seem to be struggling right now. Oh, you seem to God. understand. That's, so that's what, happened? Just, uh, what happened? What <laughs> happened? What happened when, well, uh, during, it was very difficult for me while I was working to, to to go to a to an English school, you know, I all, I love English and I always wanted to to learn more English, but it was difficult because I I I didn't have time. Mm -hmm. I was traveling all the time, and sometimes I decided to go to some school that they have uh, computers, you know, but there were no internet. It was difficult. Yeah. You know? And then when when I decided to retire, it was due to the pandemic yeah. because the company that I was working for uh, closed operations. And then mm. I said, okay, this is, this is my opportunity. 
<laughs> and then I was looking for some uh, in, uh, in online classes, and then I found you. <laughs> wow. And then I found you. Yeah. Okay, so you spent almost 40 years, again, after you became a pilot, life got really busy, you're married, you have a child, you're not able to take these classes, internet, the internet really wasn't around back then. Fast forward all the way to the pandemic, mm -hmm. and you said you found me and you joined the academy. Let me ask you this, what led you to choose my academy? Because there are so many amazing English teachers online. Yes. And again, even in my opinion, they are amazing English teachers. What told you, hey, Try out Teacher Tiffany's Academy. Was it a specific uh, video on YouTube? What happened? I decided to join some other teachers because, as you said, uh, I, I know you, and you know uh, uh, them. And then uh, I, I watched uh, a video from you mm -hmm. and then I decided to enroll in the I think that it was in the 365, but I was yeah. paying monthly. Uh -huh. But after that, one of the, the teachers that I was taking uh, classes to, uh, she was a, a breakthrough uh, challenge of one month, or I don't remember if one month or two months. And I decided to stop, to stop the classes with you, to join that challenge that mm -hmm. there was going to be practicing all day, all day and every day for one month. You <laughs> left, Javi, you left me? You left me. Yes, yes, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay, I'm sorry. it's okay. You came I'm back, sorry. it's okay, go ahead. <laughs> but you know something? When I finished the, the, the Breakthrough Challenge, uh -huh. you sent us, uh, do you remember that you gave us five days uh, examples of classes from the Daily Challenge and the... Uh -huh. And I, I, I watched all the videos and I decided to join again in the three six in the day in the uh, native uh, um, English. Oh, speak English program. like a native program. Yes, speaking, mm -hmm. Yeah, speak English as a native program. I, I enrolled uh, for a lifetime. I'm yes. not going to leave you again. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Javi. Thank you. Because <laughs> I enrolled for, for lifetime. But and then I decided that it that I needed more structure. Mm -hmm. structure with my English and then I saw you 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 your 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 examples again with the daily one and I decided to join the 365 again for a lifetime again <laughs> so I you're in both of my pro my programs yeah, both I love it so I just want to make sure everyone listening and watching is following this story I'm following you said that you joined initially the 365 day English lessons. Then you saw another teacher's program for 30 days and you said, Tiffany, I love you, but bye bye. And you bye. left me and you <laughs> went to that 30 day program with that teacher. Then you saw another email from me about the speak English like a native program, which is the more advanced program. And you noticed the structure and you said, you know what, Tiffany, I'm coming back and I'll stay with you for a lifetime. Then you saw yeah. another program that I offer for the 365 day English lessons plan. And you were in that before and you said, let me come back to that. And I wanna be a lifetime member of that. So both programs I have, you're a lifetime member. Is that correct? Yes, yes, yes. I wanted I to emphasize- I didn't that. plan to leave you. I didn't plan to leave you. <laughs> I just I just leave you for 30 days during the- <laughs> they came and, back. And, and I always, uh, have plans to return <laughs> to return well let yeah. me ask you this then javi again of course as your teacher i'm very happy that you decided to come back and to become a lifetime member but javi i do want to ask you this question and i'd love for you to be honest what brought you back what told you okay i need to come back to tiffany's programs what mm -hmm. told you that okay i can trust tiffany for the lifetime of my English journey. What made you come back? I'm curious. Well, you know that you gave us the one week program just to learn about the programs mm -hmm. and they were very interesting because mm -hmm. I was thinking that's what I want. No, yeah. <laughs> that's what I want because 
uh, and I need uh, uh, something that I can work every day, something that I can be doing every day, because, you know, it's very difficult just to be learning from from one yeah. YouTuber and another YouTuber and what they vocabulary, the next day you don't know what you are going to do exactly. and you don't have, you are not working properly, no? Yeah. You are not doing the, And then I decided to, to, to return and, and, and I am happy. And I am happy because I have a very good friends here. The community, I love the community, you know? <laughs> We are friends. We are good friends, and it's yes. very important because because when you feel good, yes, and continue because if you if you don't if you are not enjoying anything, yes. you are going to quit. That's so true. I'm so glad you brought that up. That's something, Javi, that I always want to make sure is a part of our family: the community aspect. I'm one person. I'm your English teacher. I will continue working hard to create lessons that are engaging, interesting, but having other English learners that you can speak with and practice with, that community is really what I always long to build. That's my greatest goal to build that community so you all have each other. So I'm happy to hear that you love the community aspect. I'm happy to hear that. Yes, and some other thing that I think that made me return is you, Tiffany. Oh, thank you. Because you express a lot of things. Mm. We know that you are working hard to mm. help us, mm. but you have something. You know, you, 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 your, your stories are amazing. <laughs> thank I, you. My daughter, my daughter speaks English perfectly. Mm. She speaks English like a native. Right. You know? And sometimes I tell her, Honey, take a look to my teacher because <laughs> I love her stories. And you, you know, you, you are. A, we know when when somebody is a good person, and I appreciate that. You transmit that. You I always transmit that. that. And I know that you that you speak uh, Korean, mm -hmm. and I know that you understand what is happening to us with, during this learning. Yes. <laughs> Because we have been learning, in, I have been learning English, I think, that all my life, no? Yeah. And my job is to be fluent because I love English, but I, I, I want to, to be fluent because, because uh, you know, as I told you, sometimes we need to go deep in conversations. Very true. <laughs> uh, yeah. That's true. And, and everything is in English. Everything is in English. Now I am... I am, I have, we in the Gideons, we have a platform and we have some products in, 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 in Spanish, but right. most of them are in English. And if yeah. you don't English, you have to wait that someone, someone tell you what it's in there because if, you know, every, I know that because as a pilot, yes. everything was in English. Our yes. manuals, everything, even though our work, was yes. in English. We have yeah. some, some uh, everything that we do in, in, the, in the plane, we have to tell the other pilot what I'm doing or he yes. has to tell me what he's doing. And everything is in English. Because, yeah. you know, I used to fly an Airbus. Uh -huh. And Airbus, Airbus has something that you can fly the plane with other people that is that he doesn't speak your language, but wow. we can fly the plane because we have call outs. We call them call outs, you know, yeah. Yeah. flaps up. Yes. <laughs> so, so all the terms are in English. Yeah. And it, it's amazing. Yeah, it is amazing. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let me ask you this, Javi, because, and, and I love that you shared so much of your story because you are an inspiration to so many other English learners whether they're young, whether they're middle-aged or whether they're older, I think you're really an inspiration. So I wanna ask you this, Javi, what advice would you give to an English learner? Someone that's trying to get to where you are, Javi, what advice would you give them? Well, you know, practice is everything, no? We have to practice. Mm. Practice is, is everything. We have, we have to, to try to practice every day, but, 
something that it is important, I think, is the community. Yeah. Because we can we can get along with 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 most of them, and and you know we can share things. We can talk. We because we we are not only learning English here. Yeah. We are learning a lot of things. Yes. No? Because we share a lot of things from our countries, and sometimes we start talking about our feelings, our 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 innermost things. That sometimes yes. you are sad, sometimes you are happy. And, and I think that it is very important to have people around you yeah. to talk with because it's everything. Yeah, right? yeah. Great mm -hmm. point. Having a community. I, I hope the individual listening to this conversation or watching this conversation, I hope you really understand what Javi just said. Having a community can really transform your experience. Great advice, Javi. Great advice. So, Javi, I have one last Go ahead, I sure. can tell because I can tell a lot of things about teachers mm -hmm. because you know you, you know I think that we more or less know what we have to learn and I know that you do a lot of effort to work with us but but there are a lot of things that okay you have to practice grammar you have to write you have to listen yeah. and it is something that everybody knows yeah but I think that in the community you can do all those things yeah that's very true excellent I, it makes me smile so hard because that was one of my goals at the community you guys continue to practice together and you'll actually tackle or address these things of listening or grammar you guys will talk about these things so i'm glad to hear that as well javi do you have any question for me and i say question only because our time is wrapping up today, but do you have a question you'd like to ask me? You know that I was thinking because I know I knew that <laughs> that you were going to ask me something about it, but uh, I don't really have one, a special one. No, no problem. <laughs> I think you've been with me for a while, so you know a lot about me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know, I know, I know. You know a lot about me. Well, Javi. I just want to say again that I'm very honored to be your English teacher. Oh, I'm you. so happy that you're a part of our family. I'm so happy that you're a lifetime member. I'm not going anywhere, Javi. As you guys know, I plan to do this for the rest of my life. I love teaching you guys, and I continue to think of new ways to help you guys. So, Javi, thank you so much for taking this thank time you. out to speak with me. Thank you, teacher. It's been a pleasure to to know you virtually. Ah, uh, <laughs> for almost uh, I don't know twenty minutes or more. Yeah, and you did great. You did great. Oh, thank you. Thank <laughs> You're you. welcome. Coming coming from you, it's it's it, it, it's good to know. <laughs> yes, and I'm being very honest. You did an excellent job, Javi. I enjoyed oh, this conversation so much. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. I hope you have a wonderful day, Javi. You too, you too, teacher Tiffany, you too. Thank you, bye-bye. Thank you, see you, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, friends. <laughs> <laughs>